Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So um, we'll start as ever with the US 30, but the, I guess the real action's over on dollar yen and the Nikkei, where we've seen some uh, some interesting moves. I think dollar yen actually reached a 13 uh, a year high. Nikkei is at a multi, multi year high as well. Um, very interesting markets over in Asia, and a lot of that is due to the movement that we've seen in the dollar and the renewed talk of interest rates in 2015, which seemed to come completely out of the blue last week on Friday after Janet Yellen's comments and a major speech. So you can see the US 30 actually had a, a positive day yesterday. There's a big absence, a big vacuum of macroeconomic data until, matter of fact, later on today, you've got um, weekly jobless claims and a, a, a number of other updates. Um, so we had a decent move yesterday, uh, trading above both moving averages, only just beyond 18 112, which has been this level we've talked about for a large number of sessions. You can just see all the tips of these candles here. It's indicative of the importance of this level, and I don't think today's going to be any different. So we're going through a little bit of slow drift this morning. Look at it intraday-wise. Most global equity markets are actually drifting lower. UK 100 actually doing okay. Uh, most of the technical indicators uh, aren't doing a huge amount. We also had the crossover in the MACD a few sessions ago. The RSI is neutral, where it's a slow stochastic on the US 30 that's interesting, uh, as in it's just crossing that 80% level now. So from a technical perspective, and if you add that to that kind of, it's not really a long like a candle, but it, it has been higher yesterday before it had the close. There is a little bit of selling pressure, and this consolidation right here, we could really do with like a dollar yen esque style breakout to, to get up, to get on higher. But the market just needs to get more used to um, interest rates in the U.S. and uh, the net. Um, positives apparently that that's going to bring to the US economy longer term uh, more aces in the hole should things go a little bit sideways again. So looking at the UK 100 um, almost completely almost a bullish engulfing pattern almost just just missed the tip of that candle uh, so quite a strong performance yesterday by the UK 100. Um, uh, 7,084 is the next short-term potential resistance. Obviously, longer-term potential resistance is 71.28. We're still we still have this pattern of lower highs. So you've got a high, lower high, lower high, lower high. It needs to break above 70,080. Uh, sorry, 7,084 before it breaks that um, that pattern. And in fact, if I just get my drawing tool out like here, let's see how that potentially looks. We could have this kind of uptrend right here. It's not really touching enough points. Um, even if we do it like this, really need two points to draw a trend line, a third point to confirm it. So we're obviously coming up that little bit closer now. So um, we'll see how that pans out. So moving on to the Japan 225. Uh, another great day yesterday as dollar yen really shot up. Uh, it's taking a little bit of a breather right now, which is good because it doesn't. It needs to have a little bit of pressure taken out of it if it's going to rechallenge this 20,868 level. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, I need to go into a monthly uh, chart to potentially have a look at this better. It's not been as high as this. Let's put that back to max. Uh, since 2000, so just before the dot-com uh, bubble burst. That 20,868 level, and this is on a monthly chart, is the highest that the um, the Japan 225 will have been in in 15 years. So I think that's pretty significant for the Japanese market. Uh, it's a great market to spread bet on as well because you don't have to worry about the currency exchange. If you're trading CFDs, it's a bit harder because you could buy the, the Nikkei, but then you've got your yen sterling or yen dollar, depending which, um, or yen euro, sorry, um, depending where you're, where you're situated. That exchange rate can erode your profits, but if you're looking at um, at spread betting, then Japan 225, regardless of which direction you think this is going, uh, is an interesting market. So do bear that in mind. So looking at um, dollar yen, uh, dollar yen's doing great. It's been up way higher today. It looks to be 124.42 was a potential uh, resistance, and that is obviously multi-year. That's like nine-year highs or something for that FX pair. It's, it's Got up there this morning. It's been pushed back down. It's currently show, showing a graveyard doji formation, uh, but obviously it's still just early in the morning, uh, UK time. So there's a lot more, um, a lot more price action that could be factored into this. But uh, it'd be quite interesting if it could just take up a little bit of beyond that, because obviously Japan they still have stimulus measures to utilise that they're keeping for a rainy day. Uh, and if the US is going to be raising rates, and they're only just starting to raise rates, dollar yen has got some great potential. Um, should the Americans get their uh, get their act together and get some decent data out of there as well. So 124.42, a 
long term potential resistance remains unbroken at this time. So then jumping on to crude West Texas, drifting down to $57. Next potential support is $54.85. Um, we've got the last three sessions here negative. We've not had a real decent bounce today yet either. Looking at this from a trend perspective, your uptrend here is firmly broken. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and just draw that one on there for now. And uh, you can see this it is quite an interesting formation that you've, that you've got right there. In fact, that one's long gone now. Um, break of a break of the uptrend. Uh, we've not really had a huge acceleration to the downside, but 54.85 is the next potential support. So moving quickly on to gold. Um, gold not doing a huge amount. 11.86 is still the short term potential, the longer term potential support. After that, it's 11. 37 and gold would be an interesting one if if the interest rate talk and hike talk intensifies then then gold has got the fundamentals stacked against it moving on to your dollar uh bounce yesterday close to potential uh, support one spot zero seven eighty six mac did just cross the zero line rsi and so stochastic there have extra room for maneuver we are trading below both moving averages of the 55 period sma looking like a potential short-term cap uh, so right now you're in the middle of two ranges your dollar is just not that exciting at the moment and then moving on to cable real volatile day yesterday and if you look at that candle it was much higher as much lower still trading below potential uh, resistance one spot 54 24 technicals are all relatively neutral uh, obviously, you do have a break of this uptrend. Uh, matter of fact, let me just get rid of some of these other ones here for now. Um, my drawing tool out. If we do take this as a potential trend, firmly broken now. Uh, and I don't know, looks to be one spot 51.85 would be the next potential support. One spot 54.24 is the next potential resistance, which also coincides with that 21 period SMA. Um, things are a little bit static against GBP USD. We'll have to see if that, that pans out. So economic data wise, okay, you've got uh, UK GDP. If you're trading cable, that one's gonna be important. Uh, employment claims, again, important for Euro dollar and cable. Housing index, not so important for the US dollar, to be honest. <clears throat> and then you do have crude oil inventories, which would be good for West Texas crude. And fast forward on to Friday, we've got German retail sales, again, good for Euro dollar, uh, and US GDP, which will be big for Euro dollar and cable as well. So people will be looking for GDP as signs of how well the US economy is doing and uh, what's going to happen next with interest rates. So um, do bear that in mind. Keep an eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your life going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.